How are you this morning? Very well. Welcome back to the class. Shall we all join our hands please? Very good. Close your eyes. Now you say a silent prayer for all your dear and near ones. All right. Very good. Now open your eyes and look at the board. All right. Yeah. So uh, this is uh, the letter I, isn't it? Which we are learning. I, I hope you remember the sound of this. This has a short sound that is E. Everyone say E. This letter I or the sound E has to make two letter words to make a family. So this T, I, so this I is given only few letters. One is T, one is B, one is G, then the letter N and the letter P. Now these are only the five letters with which uh, I has to make the family. Now I already made the family with the T. That, that is it. It made the family with it. We learned. We also finished I with B. That is Ib. Now today we are going to learn the family of I with the letter G. And what is the sound of this letter G? Yes, the sound of G is G. Now can you tell me the words beginning with G sound? Can you think? Yes, there is girl, then gun, gorilla. What else? Can you tell me? Gum, then goat, isn't it? All these words begin with the letter G and the sound is G. So today, this I is going to make a family with the letter G. So here is the letter G. So this I and this G, they are two letter words with one sound that is the family sound, yeah? So by now you must know what is the meaning of family sound. Family sound is of with the two letters but gives one sound. So what is the family of I, G? What is the family sound of I and G? That is I and G. It is Ig. Everybody say Ig, G, Ig. Can you point your finger to the board and say children? Ig, G, Ig. Last time, Ig, G, Ig. So this Ig is a two letter word with one family sound. Now, this Ig wants to make three letter words like all other families. So, it is going to look for three letter words. Children, now this is Ig family, isn't it? Ig, the Ig. Now, this Ig family is planning to have or make three letter words. Now, can you see some baskets here? In every basket, there are two letters. Isn't it? You can see here. M and W. That is Ma and W. This is F and L. This is F and this is L. S and D. That is S and D. There are also some pictures. Now, I'm not going to tell the names of these pictures, but you will have to guess by yourself. There is a one picture here, another here, and the last one over here. Now, this egg has to pick up only one letter from this basket, another letter from this basket, another letter from this basket. So, how many 
how many letters it has to select one letter from here one from here again one from here let me fix my basket oh so the baskets are there and the letters are there and the pictures are there now the work of ig begins so ig this ig which is a two letter word first it will go near this m arma and tries to form a letter uh, sorry word m ig mig now when you say mig is there any meaning for this three letter word there is no meaning and there is no picture of mig over here isn't it so this m and ig when it came together there was there is no proper meaning for this word mig so m cannot be of any help isn't it so now because there is no picture also which which gives the word mig here isn't it children so now let's see when ig is standing next to this w or w what word does it give it is w ig wig you know what is wig children wig is something you put on your head if you have to change your hairstyle now if you want to have uh, some people do not have hair so they put a wig on their head like this is the picture for wig this is the picture for wig so w is helping ig to make a word so this is the picture for this word wig so this is called wig yeah so let's take out this m because m is a uh, not m let's take out this w because w was useful for making the word let's fix this w over here and so w for wig w for wig now let's go to this basket in this basket there are two letters one is f another one is l now let's keep the ig over here and let's see what word it gives l ig what is l ig is there a word with l ig does it have a meaning can you tell me can you tell me there is no word as such right there is no picture as well so l is of no use so let let us see when we go near f that is f f ig is fig isn't it f ig is fig now is there what is fig children fig is a fruit now where is the fruit here this is a fruit have you eaten fig sometimes you get in the market figs they are they are of green color sometimes they come little brownish so this is the picture and this is the word fig so which letter was useful to make the word fig l or f can you tell me yes it is f so let's remove this letter f and let's fix it over here so can you tell me now f for fig so l is kept in the basket itself now we have here two other in this basket so when i keep this ig near the letter s so s and ig so ig what is so ig can you tell me is there a meaning for this word i said it should be a sensible meaningful word so ig sig has no meaning isn't it now let's keep it here da ig tell me what is da ig da ig is dig you know what is the meaning of this dig dig first i will show you the picture the picture is here see can you see two hands here and is having a spade he is digging the ground maybe he is digging the ground to plant a, a small plant or plant uh, some uh, seeds or something like that 
so he is digging the ground he is taking a spade and just digging it and that is called dig and this is the word dig dig a dig so tell me which letter was useful to make the word dig is it s or is it d is it s or d yes exactly it is d so let's remove it from the basket and fix it over here now you help me in reading this d is helping to make the word dig w is helping to make the word wig and f is helping to make the word fig now let me remove this baskets from here so this egg is a two letter word now we are seeing how to break the word into different sounds yeah this is egg which is a two letter word and egg has three letters to help to make a three letter word the first one was it took the help of the letter d and with d when d egg when d egg together when they make which word does it become so here are the options you can you have to select the proper word d egg is dig so let's put the arrow here d egg is dig isn't it and this is the picture for dig now the next one was f the letter f and the sound is f when f is joining with egg it forms the word is it this one or this one yes it is this one isn't it so f egg is fig let's go like this yeah f egg is fig now comes next letter that is w that is w when w is joining with egg it forms the letter or it forms the word wig now wig is over here so it forms wig now all look same lines isn't it so how to know which one is for what i'm going to make it easy for you let's make like this d egg is dick so this also d egg is dick so you understand d egg dick is here then for egg it is not here it is here so i will make here circles this one and this one is of the same word so for egg fig and the stir circles will continue like this now we have wo egg wig isn't it so i'm going to make curves here like this wo egg wig now we understood d egg is dick f egg is fig and w egg is wig i just purposely made it little difficult for you because always you should not go from here to here or from here to here you should first find the words where where are the words which are the spellings to make this proper meaningful word so you have to search it always you have to search that is the reason i put different signs for these words all right children now let's go to so uh, before that you must know what is the meaning of this wig did you know what is this wig have you seen a wig see sometimes uh, when we have competitions children want to make babi uh, act like a babi or um, some other uh, dora or something like that they put this wig on the head like golden hair or brown hair this is the wig it is available in the market you can ask your mom to show for you and this is the dig if you have a garden you can ask you uh, take your mummy and daddy down to the garden ask them to dig something for you so that you can understand very well what is the meaning of dig and next time when you go to the uh, uh, when go to the supermarket make sure to buy this fruit this is fig which is little it is small in uh, size and mostly it is green and brown in color it is very tasty it has small small 
uh, seeds inside all right yeah now let's go here we'll see how to write these words the the date as usual then from the margin you will say i g ig now i g ig all right right touching the line like teacher now the next one is to draw the dig to draw a dig i don't want you to draw like this it is very difficult so what you will do you will make the ground like this first then you will make two lines then you will make a spade like this this much is enough so this is dig when you say dig which is the first letter it comes from your mouth d isn't it d so write d then i g after that you dot your i when you say d write d then the family sound ig d and the ig is the family sound dig then we have to draw the fig to draw fig first you make like this then you make like this then you make like this then you make a oval and an oval and just like this then the stem of the fruit this is the fig F isn't it F means which letter f which is touching the down and the up red line then the swing should be up this is f now when we when you bring that swing down if you bring the swing down like this this becomes wrong and then you write i that is wrong so you have to just bring it like this and you will have this i f i g fig isn't it so f i g fig all right then the last one is wig how to draw wig you make a face but don't put any eyes or something you just make the hair and you can make the hair black like this this is only the wig which is put on the top of your head so wig means it is rounding the lips it is not spreading your lips so it is not v it is w w up swing then you will not bring the swing down you will make it same like f it is only like this i then the letter g w swing out i and g wig so which are the three words we learned there are many other words which which uh, from ig you can make you can make uh, big the ball is big when you say that it is boy ig big you can make many more words but for you in this class you will learn only these three words one is dig do ig dig fo ig fig wo ig wig fo is one sound this is the family sound there are only two sounds wo is one sound ig is the family sound all right children so this is it for ig family hope you understood this class bye bye and see you so children this is your four line uh, practice book you have to write this ig draw a simple picture of dig as i taught you wig no need of making eyes only draw the hair and this is the fruit fig all right children i hope you had a nice class i hope you enjoyed too take care and i hope you had a nice class today take care and stay safe bye bye see you children this is one of the new activity this is called fill in the blank blank means what children yes that means it is a dash now here since you are learning this for the first time we are going to give you the picture so that you will understand what you must write on the blank 
Now this one I taught you before. So if you did not understand the picture, I'm going to stick this picture. This is better. Let me rub this one. So here. Now this is the picture where the ball is hit, isn't it? So now let's read. T H E the ba ba. Let's read it. T H E the ba a y a boy, the boy dash the. What is this one? B A double L. It is ball. So what did the boy do with the ball? He hit the ball, isn't it? So you will write her it uh, hit. This is from the lesson which I explained to you. So the the boy hit the ball, which you will have to write in your practice book page till the last line. No need of drawing the picture again. Only write the sentence. This is called a sentence. Right from uh, from the margin till the dot. So the boy hit the ball. Every time you have to put a dash as well. Don't forget the dash. So you will have to write till the last line. So children, uh, this is the lesson which you have to read. I already taught you these two family words, it and it. So we are going to learn this lesson. You will have to write the date. Now, what is the name of this lesson? It is Sir It uh, Sit Baby. This is Baby B A B Y Baby Sit Sit Baby Sit. So, as I told you before, when you look at the page, first you must look at the pictures. You can see a baby. There is a cot, and she is having a bib in her hand, isn't it? And he is a boy who is hitting the ball and here that same boy is with the kit in his hand and the ball is fallen in the pit and this is the pit the ball is fallen in the pit and there is this is the door and this is the floor now near to the door there is a nib on the floor and this bib is next to the or near the door understood so this is a door and this is a floor and the bib is on the floor and the uh, sorry nib is on the floor and the bib is near to the door that's this is the gist of the lesson now we will read by putting numbers as we are reading all right so first put number 1 and read it sir it uh, sit baby sir it uh, sit sit baby sit number 2 sir it uh, sit on on t h e the k a t cot we are teaching o words later but still you learn it now uh i'll be teaching you overs later but even then you try to uh follow teacher so sit on the cot number 3 w e a r this is where the first sound is w where a b i b b i b where a b i b number 4 E A T eat your food bit by it a bit by bit. This is little tough lesson, but when you read every time or every day, you will get the words. Okay, children. So let's read again. Where a bib? So the baby is sitting on the cot, and they are telling the baby to wear a bib. so that she can eat the food bit by bit means slowly eat your food bit by bit sit baby sit sit on the cot 
वेर अ बिब ईट या फूड बिट बाय बिट लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट लाइन दैट इज नंबर फाइव टी एच ई द अगेन दिस इज द ओ साउंड ब आ य बॉय ह इट अ हिट टी एच ई द and this is b a w l l ball so the boy hit the ball can you see the boy hit the ball yes number 6 t h e the ball fell in the pit the ball fell in the pit the ball fell in the pit The next one is number seven. T h e the boy came came k a m came to the pit. So the boy came to the pit. He must remove the ball from the pit. So he came to the pit. Number eight. H e he got got. H a s a his tool, 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 k a it a kit. Now this is the tool kit. What is the meaning of tool kit? Like you have pencil box with you. You have pencils, erasers, crayons in your in your pencil box, isn't it? Now this is a kit where he has maybe he has a, a small spade, something to uh, dig or rope or something. so like uh, electrician when he comes home he will have his tool kit screw driver and wire isn't it same way this boy also has something so that he can remove the ball from the pit let's read this the boy hit the ball the ball fell in the pit the boy came to the pit he got his tool kit you to move your fingers all right children number 9 t h e the n i b n i b is on the floor this is floor the nib is on the floor number 10 the bib is near the door the bib is near the door again the nib is on the floor then number 11 number 10 the bib is near the door so this is the lesson sit baby sit which you have to read every day keeping your pointer finger and moving it for every word did you get it children all right